thanks for uh, thanks for coming out and, and joining us in this uh, celebration of the completion of our, of the roundabout. Uh, it was a mess here beforehand. I, you know, I've, I've been in Southeast Missouri for eight years, and I've been here, I've heard about it for eight years, and especially on on Sunday about uh, about eleven eleven thirty, depending on uh, which congregation you're out and what time what time that lets out. Uh, so we've known it was a challenge, and know, knew it have known it needed uh, needed some work on it for some time, and I am so thrilled to um, to be in the in Southeast Missouri and able to work with uh, with communities and leaders like Scott Meyer and, and Mayor Redeker that that uh, roll up their sleeves and come to the table and say let's sit down together and figure out a solution to the problem and that uh, you know what that makes everybody's job a lot easier and certainly makes my life a lot easier uh, when you're working with folks that, uh, that that want to find solutions and are open to different ideas and look at things and and work through the public process and, and come up with, together we come up with, with what I believe is, is the exact right solution for, for this intersection. So thank you all for coming today. We're, um, the job was um, about a $1.4 million job and the city of Cape Girardeau not only came uh, to the table with ideas, but they also came to the table with uh, $793,000. $793, and that, uh, that's really a great thing. Uh, you know, it, it, it was an issue that affected us all. And so thank you, Mayor Scott, for, uh, for coming to the table with uh, great ideas, uh, great solutions, and, and some money to help us get us accomplished. That's how you move forward in, in any of the things that we're, do, that we're gonna do, and especially with, um, in transportation. You know, we also, uh, we got a couple folks that are gonna speak today, but we also got support and input from from other folks that are here today that don't want to, that said they don't want to speak, but I do want to recognize them. Uh, so we've got uh, Presiding Commissioner Clint Tracy with us. We've got uh, uh, Cape County Commissioner Paul Kepper that's with us today. We've got uh, uh, Tom Schulte with us today from representing uh, Senator Blunt's office, Representative Kathy Swan uh, for the state, uh, state House of Representatives. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Larry Payne, if it's transportation in Southeast Missouri, Larry <laughs> Payne's uh, always helping with solutions. So glad that uh, glad that Larry's here today. And, and you know what? I probably didn't do that in the right precise order of how it ranked out. But so I apologize for that. But thank you all for for coming um, because it's really working together is what we did to to make for a a great project. And certainly, uh, if I didn't miss mention, you know, we can have all these plans and have all these meetings and put together a project, but you know what, if we don't get good bids and we don't get a good contractor to put it together, we still got a mess. So thank you, uh, Mr. Fronneberger, for being here today and for uh, giving us a great project. All right, a uh, couple speakers that we've got today, and I'm privileged uh, to, uh, to introduce um, our first speaker the, from the city of Cape Girardeau, the Honorable Mayor Harry Rediger. Thank you very much. It's uh, certainly a pleasure to be here. Uh, I will echo uh, um, the comment that it was a mess. Uh, I've been here longer than eight years, and it's been a mess longer than eight years. I, I, I use this every day, and people coming off of Route W, it's just kind of like, well, close your eyes and go and hope. And if they're coming off of Kingsway and trying to go any direction, uh, I always call that uh, gulp and go. Uh, it, it was it was it was truly a, a backup and a, at all times of the day and a dangerous uh, dangerous situation from Kings Highway uh, all the way up through. So uh, uh, we had this project uh, in uh, the works for a long time under TTF, our Transportation Trust Fund, and we're fortunate enough, uh, as was stated, Mark, that. Uh, uh, we were able to join, jointly do this project 50-50 with, uh, with MoDOT, and everybody wins. Our community wins. More importantly, our, our citizens win. Um, we've got, uh, I've got another one or two projects that uh, I kind of got on the horizon that uh, hopefully we can uh, get together and do another joint project. In these days of, uh, of limited funding, uh, on the city's point and the limited state funding that we have, if we can do something 
jointly and share in the cost, we can uh, improve uh, transportation uh, locally uh, for all of our citizens at a, at a, at a cost-effective rate. Uh, I, too, want to uh, uh, thank uh, Glenn Fronebarger and the Fronebarger uh, uh, Construction uh, particularly, and I'm going to let the thank yous, uh, more of the thank yous for uh, our city manager, Scott Meyer, but the, the traffic flow that went through here during the construction could have been uh, monumental, as much traffic as goes through here. I got, personally, zero complaint calls on traffic flow through this uh, project uh, through its inception. So not only was it a great project, but a great uh, <coughs> contractor, but the traffic flow that went through here was, was just tremendous. So, Glenn, to you and your people, uh, just on that, thank you very much. Because it, uh, it could have been uh, a, a real disaster, and it wasn't. It, it went great. We uh, now have it open, and it is really for our citizens to flow through uh, more effectively, more safely. And it's another uh, effort by our Transportation Trust Fund that we have now either improved or have in design over 80 million dollars of transportation improvements throughout our city since 1995. I'm very proud of that. We're moving through TTF 4 now and we'll be looking at TTF 5 and do, doing preliminary planning on TTF 5 very shortly. 2015 comes up very quickly. Thank you all for being here uh, to celebrate this great achievement. Thank you. Mayor, thank you for um, for coming down today, for your support uh, throughout this in, in time, and, and your patience <laughs> as we kind of worked uh, worked through through to a solution. Our next speaker is uh, is a gentleman that I, I have over the last eight years uh, really come to appreciate. I, some of you know that uh, actually the job I have is uh, Scott had the job, and then he moved on to, to different things, and, and I came down to Southeast Missouri and. And I've uh, enlisted Scott's help on, on times, certainly when I first came down here with trying to, trying to figure out, uh, get the lay of the land and some things that were going on. So, and then uh, working with Scott in, in his different positions that he's had uh, with uh, just, uh, I, I have really come to appreciate Scott's uh, approach uh, to problem solving. And it's, uh, you know what, we don't, you, don't, you don't meet for a long time with Scott and, and talk about it. You, you sit down at the table and you come up with a solution and then you implement it. And I've really come to appreciate Scott for that. And uh, he's a great guy and, and the, the city of Cape Girardeau is certainly uh, fortunate to have Scott as, uh, as their city manager. Scott. Thanks, Mark. Whoa. Uh, thank you, Mark. Uh, I'm not going to take a lot of time. Everything really has, has been said. Um, uh, I remember when I came to, when I came to Cape Girardeau, Mark, uh, and moved to Southeast Missouri to take the district engineer's job. Uh, came to town and I took Jimmy Murray's place. And I don't know if you know Jimmy or not, but Jimmy lived in Cape and, and it turns out, uh, uh, of course, they had the state car. And so I took, I took Jimmy's car and, and then moved into his office. And then uh, lo and behold, I came looking for a house and I bought Jimmy's house. <laughs> And uh, and everybody said his wife was getting nervous, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it, it it is a camaraderie that uh, that that's that we've benefited from, and uh, certainly if you do transportation uh, locally, you you really uh, in in the state of Missouri need to work with MoDOT because MoDOT is intimately involved in the local uh, transportation network. They they take care of the roads in the cities. And uh, in some states that isn't the case, but it is in MoDOT, and uh, that's the case, of course, here. I remember we were at, uh, I believe it was the Kappa Hall Bank, when we first talked about this job and, and how, you know, we've just all kind of wrung our hands on it, and we just, just determined, uh, Mark and I, on that day to, to come up with a way to come up with the right solution, and then whatever we came up with, we figured we'd figure out how to pay for it. And so instead of focusing on, well, how are we going to pay for it first, we, we really did focus on, finding a solution. Uh, they ran all sorts of models. And I know Tim, Tim uh, Richmond is here and, and uh, he, you know, we worked our way through it and come up with the right solution and then we did come up with uh, how to split up the money. And uh, really that's the way government ought to work. Um, 
you know, it's kind of, kind of feel like Kathy this morning. You know, she, she was with the city when we started the project, and now she's with the state as we complete it. And, um, you know, th th we need to work hand in glove, and I think that's, that's a great thing that happens here. Partnerships are so important uh, in getting everything done. It's with the contractor. It's with uh, multi-levels multi, uh, uh, of our government. But ultimately, it's the citizens. It, it really comes down to the citizens. They're the ones that were inconvenienced by the old, the way it was. They're the ones that are inconvenienced throughout the construction. But they're the ones that are going to benefit. It's less accidents. It's less delay. It's less fuel. Uh, it's less frustration. And, um, and that's what, uh, what really the outcome is. And uh, I really, uh, as an Indian, I really like everybody that, that's worked with the city or the state to raise their hand here today. You know, and I, look at there. That's, that's everybody. And no matter if it's county, city, or state, we work together for a solution that the citizens make a difference in their lives every single day. Those, you know, the mayor went through every day. And there's a lot of people like that, and it's going to make a difference in their life every day because you all cooperated. So thank you very much. We thought so much of Tim, we just hired him, and uh, <laughs> so uh, you know, great job, Tim. This is uh, this is a great improvement because it, you know, it really uh, took all all those details coming together to to make a great design. So thank you so much, Tim, for for that, and um, and we appreciate every every single one of you. So I think we need to cut a, cut a ribbon, Mark. We'll turn it back over to you. Well, Scott, thank you, and I thank you for pointing out that really the, the purpose and the vision is, is, the, is the citizens, it's the taxpayers. They're the ones that, that sign our check, and, and we're supposed to get it done for them. need to recognize a few folks. Uh, you, know, for, you know, Tim, I guess, jumps to the, to the top of the list. He started this project with MoDOT, then uh, when he got wore out with her, well, no, he retired, and, <laughs> and then came to the city because he couldn't leave this project. Well, there may be another reason behind that, but, but uh, Tim and... Uh, and we've got the, the designers, you know, the, with Tom and Kathy and Gretchen and, and Brian and, and the resident engineer and Andy and, uh, and Seth to kind of oversee the, some of the construction stuff. Uh, we ended up with a great project. So thank you all. That concludes our ceremony. We'll uh, like to ask uh, all the folks um, that are partners in this, certainly the county and Tom and Representative Swan and, and uh, you know, Larry and, and, um, and others uh, to, to come up and we'll cut the ribbon. <laughs>